Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, and now the RV matchmaker here at Camp Resident in Jacksonville, Florida. If uh, this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please do subscribe, like, and comment. I'd appreciate that. And uh, in the event that you have any questions, because I know I'm going to be going over a lot of stuff here, feel free to reach out to me. Today, we're going to be talking about Wretch RV Class B motorhomes that are offered three different floor plans. So stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about here is the Turismo. Now, the thing with the Turismo, it is a roughly a 19-foot coach. The other two, you're going to be uh, 22 and 24 feet in length. So basically kind of the same floor plans in each. So let's get inside and take a look. By the way, these are available in um, two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. So now coming inside here, what you're going to notice is in the back here, you have your seat. There's two seat belts there. In the shorter one, you're not going to have room to seat the extra two people. In the longer ones, you will. You can see how the counter is kind of over it. The refrigerator is kind of over that seat. But the way this, this can actually make a bed is using your touch screen. So here. using the touch screen, basically you're going to come to the home screen. You have the home screen. You can do your lights. You can turn all your lights on. And of course, for your generator, auto generator start. And of course, you have for your uh, AC and furnace. Well, I'm sorry, just basically for your AC and a vent, power vent. Then, of course, we have for the sliding glass door. This would be your uh, to put down the screens so you're blocking out uh, the light. And then the last thing is how bright do you want the screen to be? So you could take it whatever you'd like. You know, they have auto dimming, cleaning mode. They have all, all things. So now in order to put down the bed on the first one, you can see you have your ottomans and then the sofa. So as you can see, I have the blackout shades down back there, but let's go ahead and put the sofa down. And this is going to go ahead and extend to make a bed. Now, one thing you could do if you wanted to, you could leave it like this, so that make it kind of like twin beds. So that way there in the event you need to get up in the middle of the night, you're able to go ahead and drop your feet down there. Or, or you could go ahead and extend one of the ottomans because that won't go all the way across if you just do one of them. Or you could do it something like this. Now the difference with this, this gives you over on this side, this gives you 35 inches width wise. On this side, that gives you 25 inches wide. So if you just needed 25 inches, you could do that. But that, that gives you a little place where you could uh, get out of bed if you needed to, to go to the bathroom. Now the width wise on this, this is about 68 inches wide and the length is 72 inches. I know what you're saying is, you're saying to me, Paul, you mean to tell me I gotta go stand up by the door in order to operate this or the lights or anything? No, you actually have a second panel back here and it will operate everything that was on the other screen right here in the back. Now for a small coach, this does come with adequate storage. As you can see the cabinets that you have, they also have a little hanging spot for you. Some people put a rod across there uh, to hang some clothes if they're not going to be using the bed uh, for sleeping. So those just tuck up quite nice. And then for this rear storage, it is adequate. And there's for your table leg, able for you to put it there. So you see it's pretty deep as well as the full width of the couch. So that table leg would go ahead and mount right here and then your table is actually stored back behind the driver's seat as you can see right there and that is the lagoon table so it gives you um, multiple different positions for you to use for them back here you're actually going to have the, the shoulder harness seat belts for you and then for the back door you have the blackout shade but then if you want to leave the doors open it also has a screen that will come down now back here, sitting on the comfortable, I mean, these ultra leather, you, when you sit on here, you're going to love how it feels, but you can see how you have your TV. If you want to just uh, recline the seat a little bit because you want to watch some TV, you're able to do that. And you have plenty of room to stretch out back here. This does come with the Timberline. This is for your furnace as well as your water heater. And that is diesel fuel operated. 
So it's going to give you continuous hot water. In the roof, you're going to have your air conditioner and a power vent fan. Nice thing about the power vent fan, you can open up some windows, turn that on, and it will pull the air through on the nicer days. For your kitchen, you're going to have your two burner propane style um, cooktop here, and it just has the screen. We just had to unpack it from the box, put it box and put it in there, but that would be where you would cook. And of course, you have a nice deep sink right here. And it's a rather larger sink that, that you're going to see in, in the Class Bs. you got the nice cover to give you the additional counter space if you need it. And then, of course, the nice high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer. Refrigerator is on the opposite side here. And it's adequate size for here. And then, of course, you have your freezer. And the beautiful thing with this, this actually does come with an ice maker, as you can see. Now, in the cabinet above the refrigerator, this is where your ZAMP solar controller is. It does have solar panels on the roof. You also have a DVD player in this particular one. And, of course, your antenna booster, where you're in, if you need to turn on your antenna because you want to get some local channels, you just turn it on there. Now, then we have the bathroom, which is right located here. And it's very simple to unlock that door. And nice, nicely lit up inside. You're going to have a nice window with a privacy shade. This is a wet bath, but take a look at the, sh the sink there. Nicely finished off. You can see your sprayer port, and it does come with a mirror, and it's 3, 3X, or it's going to be just standard. So that's all right there. This is your bathroom. And it does have the shower curtain there to go ahead and cover the door when you're using the shower. And you can see that little pull there. That's so that you can pull that across and set it up on the back side here. So if you need to hang some things because they're wet and they could sit in here and drip dry. Looking at the flooring, and the flooring's going to be the, basically the same in all of them, is this flooring is more marine style and it will not absorb the water. If you spill something on it, it's easily to clean up or you can just sweep it right out the door. Lastly, in the kitchen, which I didn't cover, they do have the microwave. It's down low, so that way there makes it easier for you to put things in and out versus being up too high. Now, let me explain a little bit about these power doors. Um, you have about five different ways of operating and making them open and close. You do not want to be pushing them. There is a way you can manually close it if you needed to, and there's a switch inside or a, uh, something you need to turn on the inside in order to make that happen. So what you have here is you can pull the handle here, right up inside here if you're if you were on the inside, right up here, you're just going to go ahead and pull down on that lever, and it's going to close. As you can see, it's closing right there. On the inside, there's two other ways of doing it, and then you also, the fifth one, is your key. So let me show you the couple on the inside. So on the inside, you have a little push button right here if you're standing here, or if you're sitting in the driver or passenger seat, you have a little button right there. Those are the five different ways of opening or closing your sliding door. Now the cockpits are all gonna look alike when you're looking at them. Um, you're all gonna have the same navigation screen, radio, media, information, and so forth. This also has the Hey Mercedes you say that, it'll come up and ask you how it can help you. I have the volume down right now. You tell them, you know, gas station, and it'll look up gas stations or food or, you know, mailbox, whatever. So that's all on there. Um, controlling your AC and so forth is right here where it's going. Look at your um, cup holders. And then, of course, you have more storage area up in the dash area. As you can see, additional cup holders and as you can see plug in for your phone so that's all up on the dash more storage there more in the in the doors you have more cup holders and so forth power seats three different memory positions on that on your steering wheel just like the, most mercedes vehicles you're gonna have controls for for your um phone for cruise control and much more radio control all that stuff right here 
And be sure that when you're picking your uh, coach, or your coach up, that you have your salesperson or your technician show you actually what all these buttons are on your steering wheel and what they operate and how to operate them. So with all three of these vehicles, the Strata, the Torino, and the Turismo, you have three different options based, well, you actually have four different options. With them. You can have the standard two-wheel drive. So the two-wheel drive has two options, just two-wheel drive and, the, and you're gonna have a generator or delete the generator and you're gonna have the ion, which means you're gonna have, it's gonna be all electric. Same thing uh, with the all-wheel drive. Again, with generator or it's gonna be battery operated. So it's gonna be electric using uh, an inverter system. So, and then you have three different colors. With the Strata, which we'll get onto when we get to it, you're gonna have two different options on floor plans. You're gonna have a touring or a lounge. And I'll explain that to you when we get to that one. So next, let's go to the Torino. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Torino. Now, when you come in the Torino, again, it's same floor plan. The difference is we're gonna be able to sit three more people in the back versus the Turismo. And that's where we're gonna start in the back so you can see you have three seat belts across the back, but then you're gonna have another seat belt for this seat and this seat as well. Uh, so with that being said, now that you have a 22 foot long coach, you're also gonna be able to um, have more cabin space and more storage space. Now something else, you know, they're gonna move things around a little bit. So you have TV with a sound bar. You, again, you're going to have your timber line for your furnace and water heater. And then the screen's just above the TV. You're going to have the same kind of storage that you have as far as depth and so forth. This just has a few items up here, a couple pillows and other little knickknacks that they give you when you purchase a Gretsch. So just like the Turismo, you're going to have the blackout screens, a screen that goes down the back. You'll have a screen at the uh, sliding door and then also you have these are where you're going to have for your windows they're jealousy style windows the benefit there when you're running that power vent fan at the top that's able to pull the air through but on top of that is now you're not going to be um, having any rain coming in and things of that nature and they do come with screens we just don't have the screens in it right now so there would be screens there for you as well when it comes to the kitchen, you can see the microwave's up a little bit higher. You're gonna have two drawers below it, more storage down below the sink and so forth. Still the two burner cooktop, same high rise faucet and the sink. And then of course, let's take a look at the bathroom here. Bathroom is gonna be pretty much identical. One thing I didn't show you on the other one was little uh, towel holders. You can see you have your towel holder there and maybe a little uh, hand, hand towel holder there. But as you can see, pretty much the same style bathroom has the mirror in there as well. You can see with this one, we don't have the blackout shade uh, down, but they are deeply tinted windows. So you can actually use that uh, even in the daylight without it down. Now, the next thing you're gonna notice is that the refrigerator quote freezer is a little bit bigger. So here's your refrigerator. Now down below, some people might think that that's a freezer. It is not, it is part of the refrigerator it's like a crisper and then at the top again you have your freezer with your again the little ice maker so pretty much those are the differences between that so just to recap a difference between the turismo and the torino basically it's a 19 foot coach versus 22. the torino is 22 turismo is 19. and then when you're looking at the seating area in the back you're able to sit five back in the back versus just two in the Turismo. A larger fridge, a little bit more storage. Pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, also more counter space. Okay, so now I'm going to be, we're in the Strata. The Strata is going to be 24 feet in length. You're going to be able to seat. Now, if you have the Tour and then you also have the Lounge Series. So let me show you the differences. So now when you have the lounge series, this is gonna give you the two extra seats in the middle. 
So in this particular coach, you could sit up to nine people comfortably with seat belts. When you go to the touring, it's basically what we saw in the Torino, but it's going to be in 24 feet in length. So they'll give you more storage space and more counter space. So that's what it really comes down to. Now, the benefit of, of this particular one is you see you have an area for a, for a table here. So you, if you wanted four people to sit around here, play cards or have coffee, you're able to do such. So let me just show you the back, what you're looking at here. Now, you can get... In 2024, they're coming out with the induction cooktop. 2023 was the um, propane one. So now when you get the ION series, then you're going to have a true all-electric coach. Now with these, also you're going to notice is you're going to have more storage behind the seat here. TV, sound bar, good counter space. Of course, they've switched a little bit to the, a new style AC system. And you're going to notice back here, where the, where the uh, above the rear seat here, see how deep that is? That's gonna give you tremendous amount of storage. Look at how deep that is back there. And that goes back forever. Now, right now there's some screens in there for the front windows and the tables and a couple of um, pillows up there as well. So now because we have a little bit more room here as well, you're gonna have a length in this bed is gonna be 74 inches versus the 72 that it was in the uh, Turismo. Uh, Width-wise, it's going to be the same. And one thing I do also like about how they put their side cushions on here is they're attaching them. There's a little, as you can see, aluminum piece here, and it goes on the aluminum piece in the back. That way, as you're driving down the road, when they're in place, they're not falling all over the place like in some other um, Class B motorhomes. So as you see, I have it in, in, in place there and see it, it's not, it's not even budging when I'm trying to pull in there. So when you have the lounge series, you can see now you're going to, the countertop is pretty much the same length as what was in the Turismo. And that's because you're taking up some additional space there. Still, you're going to have a refrigerator, microwave, remember the two burner cook, uh, cooktop, and of course your nice size sink. Bathroom, now what they're doing is they're giving you an actual mirror on the door itself. I wanted to open that so you didn't have to see my ugly mug again. And again, you have the mirror. You see how if you're going to be using the sink, this thing just goes right down in place there for yourself. Keep your toilet paper out of the way. Again, the same handles on the door for a hand rag or hand towel and your standard towel. Now, something you're going to see a little bit different in this particular coach is going to be where this TV is up in front. Now, you remember I showed you you had a TV in the back, correct, with a sound bar? But now as you're going down the road, you know, if somebody wants to watch uh, a movie or so forth, you have a TV right there. Power vent fan, good size windows, deeply tinted, by the way. Now, I know you're probably asking, well, Paul, how do you watch a movie on this? Well, you have your DVD player right here, and of course your antenna. You can turn it on or off, and your solar charger is right in this location. And of course it's set up in the event that you'd like to hook something else up in there, you're able to do so. So this is in the front cabinets. Now something I didn't cover in the other two were the fact that the front seats do spin around, and all of them spin around. They're all electric. You have a little extra, if you have, if you want, if, if you're legs are a little bit longer you have a little bit more support for your legs you have to sit on these seats to see how comfortable they are and of course they do have the Gretsch logo right up there in the headrest as i mentioned in the uh, Torino everything is pretty much the same up I'm sorry the Turismo pretty much the same and let me show you something when you're driving or when you're in it and you're moving it around so the cool thing with this camera system is notice how I, you can see behind you, but it also has 360 camera. And also notice this yellow mark. That's gonna be giving you, that has sensors in the bumpers, showing you if there's anything close to you in the back, or if you're moving forward, if there's anything close in the front. So while you're moving forward or backwards, slow, you will see this. And as you can see, I started moving forward, and so you're able to see how it's doing to the front. See as I turn the wheel, how the, the sensor system is checking to see if there's anything close. 
Now, something I want to point out about the brake system, if you have this brake system, it's off right now, but see, if I wanted to spin it around, I could just put it down, although it is still, the parking brake is still on. You must pull this handle up, pull it up a little bit harder, and then release it, because if you're not going to release it, then the parking brake will not go off. You'll hear it click as you turn it on, as you put it on there. Now, there are many um, safety features that they have on these. And by the way, for both the Torino and the Strata, you do have airbag systems. So people riding in the back aren't going to be bounced around. For anybody that has driven in these Mercedes vans, the extended ones, you will know what I'm talking about. So having that air suspension in the rear is very important. So if you have any questions on any of these, or a matter of fact, any RVs, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be down below. I do appreciate you watching. What do you think? Do you like one better than the other? Is this something that would work for you? Uh, give me your comment. Let me know. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks again. I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.